This is actually really, really good. Oh my goodness. I'm I'm kinda I'm kind of blown away. I'm gonna show you how you can use School Psych AI's Studio Writer to get your psychological evaluation in really good shape and to get started. You're gonna head on over to app.schoolpsych.ai. Once you're here, you're gonna click Studio Writer. Once you're in Studio Writer, you're gonna create a new Studio Writer thread. And we're gonna go with Tony the Tiger because why not? It'll take a few seconds to create that new thread. And then we're gonna get rolling by adding in our sections for this template. And for this one, we're going to click Add Section. And you can name these whatever you like. I'm going to get started with the demographic section. Now, this is important to note. Uh, while I'm doing this manually right now, I'm uh, going to click Edit and then go in very soon. So depending on when you watch this video, we're going to add in where you can put in all your demographic information with the click of a button, and then the names, the pronouns, the date, the teacher names, all of that is gonna populate throughout the entire template section. So stay with us, we have that coming uh, very soon. All right, next, the next section we're gonna add in, we're gonna go reason for referral section. I'm gonna click create here. All right, give that a second to, to pop up. All right, that section has now been created. Then I'm gonna click inside of this, anywhere inside that blank space. And then we see it's pasted in. And I wanna break these up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just enter down. Uh, we see that that went from pasted to idle. So nothing's happening right now. All right, boom, so we're good there. I'm gonna click over here. Then the next section that we're gonna add, let's go ahead and add in the test administered section. So we're gonna add section here. We're gonna call this test administered because these are the tests that we gave. We're gonna create that section. And then we'll give that a few seconds. Go ahead and click inside of there. And then we're gonna paste those directly in. Now, I don't like how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead. And again, one of the cool parts about this is it's an editor. So you can add bullet points, boom. Yep, we got that as bullet points directly inside of there. All right, that looks better. When we hit preview, you'll see how that all flows together nice and neatly. And then before we get to adding in our assessment score reports and everything, I'm going to add in one more section and we're gonna call this section uh, background history create and then that background history section has been created i'm going to click that to click again and then paste that in right there all right boom so now we have that that's already broken up into two paragraphs for me so that looks good all right back so now what we're going to do we're going to start uploading our score reports and building out our uh, next section. So I'm going to do add section. We're going to get started with the whisk. So I'm going to call that section whisk. I'm going to go to tools. And then you have your report writer essentials, multi-rater, report writer, individual assessment. So uh, it always takes a second to, to kick back in. So I'll click into whisk. Uh, we're going to go report writer, individual assessments. Uh, you can if you have a score report, you can use the PDF upload. If not, you can just paste in manually or input manually your scores here. So because I, I have this score report, I'm going to do choose PDF file. So I'm going to select uh, this score report from the drop down. We're going to do the whisk and then create report. You can see this gives you an indication that it's processing. Your request is being processed. It may take a few minutes, but here's where it gets really cool. While it might take a few minutes, we do not have to wait. We can continue adding in different sections. So I'm going to go back to add a section. And then the next one I want to do is the Wyatt. Click Create. It'll take a few seconds to create this templated section. Then it's going to pop up when it's open. And then I go to Tools. I go back to Individual Assessments. I'm uploading. So I choose PDF file Upload. 
I find that Wyatt score report, click open from the drop down, select Wyatt, and then create report here. That's going to run. Why would we stop there? I'm going to go to the next section, which is the brief. Click create. That's going to take a second. It'll pop up. Once it pops up, you're going to go into that brief section. I'm going to click tools. I'm going to go to multi rater. I'm going to choose the PDF file. I'm going to find the brief score report. Click open from the drop down. Find that brief. Click create report. Then I'm also going to do this for the Connors, the ABAS, and then the ASRS. And you'll see that as well. So we're doing the Connors now. We're going to go ahead and create that. And you can see the sections are starting to, to finish up as we're adding these in. And so I clicked into the Connors. We're going to go multi rater. We're going to do choose PDF file, clicking into that Connors. Got that right there. And then we're going to select that option, Connors, right here, and then click Create Report. So that's rolling. Uh, then we're going to do the ABAS next. Click Create once again. And you can see we get the notifications coming up. So I'm going to close out those notifications. We're in the ABAS. So I click Tools. This is a multi rater. Have the score report. So I do choose PDF file. We're going to do this form, and then boom, and then select the assessment, ABAS once again. That's the parent form. Um, and then click Create Report. Then I'm going to add in our next section, and this is going to be the ASRS. I'm going to click Create. So that's going to take a second. We let that pop open. Once that pops open, I go to Tools. I go to multi -rater. It's a score report. So then we go to ASRS. We're going to do that. Click open, find ASRS from the drop down, create report, and then we will let that run. So while that's running, I'm going to go back and check those sections to see how it did. So we're in the WISC. You can see it gives us this test purpose and description. Again, you can edit everything that you're doing here. It gives us a table that has the name of the test, the description, the score, and then the interpretation for each range. As always, double, triple check everything to ensure accuracy. Uh, you can go in, you can make sure that everything looks just the way how you want. You can bold, whatever you want. You have full control because it's an editor. Then we see it gives us that narrative interpretation section for the full scale, verbal comprehension, visual, spatial. Right now, we're just eyeballing it. You will go through a uh, double, triple check, add language that you want, revise, delete what you don't like. And this even gives us uh, the GAI, that general ability index. All right, very good. Then we click into the Wyatt. And then it gives us similar format as well. Okay. Now, here's one thing that's like that I like. Instead of having to manually click into every section, we have this preview where you can go from the top, then just scroll through every section. So now you can see how it gives you that full Psyche Val report as we're scrolling through, uh, where you see we're going through. But then let's say I just want to jump to a different section. Again, you could go back and, and enter in uh, different sections. Uh, you can edit in. Uh, different sections. If you want to jump into the brief, you see it uploaded that brief for you right there. It um, gives you a nice interpretation of those scores, which is really, really cool, really neat. We got the Connor section right now. Um, and then we're going to see the, the ABAS, and then the ASRS. I'm rolling through. Um, I'll make sure that I can link this. I'll see if I can link this so that you all can get a copy. I might put it on the website uh, so you all can see the uh, how, how we built this out. Then the ASR RS is here. And then do, 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 do. That's the last one. So this is really, really neat. Now, let's say that we finished the classroom observation. I know we're doing it out of order. Stay with me. I'm going to copy my behavioral observation notes. I'm going to add in a section behavioral observation. Then I'm going to click create. 
then I'm going to click to open up into that section. I'm actually going to reorder this behavior observation so that it's back up to the top. And then once we're here, I'm going to go back into tools. Then I'm going to pull up the observation tool that we have. And then I, I, because I'm pasting in just my, my raw notes. And again, this is all sample stuff. So we're going to say uh, this is Tony. Make sure that we get this. Do, do, do. Tony. And then generate narrative. And so we can close this out. And it'll take a few seconds to run. And just like that, it gives us this behavioral observation right up uh, for Tony. It jumped down for some reason. So let's see if I can reorder uh, this back up here. All right, stay there for me. Don't move. Don't jump. Don't jump. All right, cool. Up. Oh, I think it, it jumped again. All right, double checking that. All right, and you see this added in. What would you like to do next? I don't want to do anything next, so I'm going to delete that out. That's why it's important to double, triple check everything that you have. And then I do want to add in one more section because we're all team strength based over here. One of the cool tools that we have is the strength based generator. So I'm going to call this the strengths section because we want to make sure that we have some strengths. So we're going to click add section. Um, do, do, do. We're going to click inside of that. Then we're going to go to tools and we're going to search for strengths. I really like the search feature. Uh, it just makes it easy. I'm just going to paste in the, the student strengths right here. And then we're going to click that button, generate strength-based language. It'll take a few seconds to run, but then it's going to return a really nice narrative for us. So these positive attributes, it lists all of their former robust foundation for personal growth and development. All right, really cool. And so I could go back in, edit what I want, but now we have a strength section based off of this student. All right. Very cool. So then I will go back up. If this was, of course, a, a evaluation, I would add in a educational implications section. I will add in a recommendation section, maybe even an appendix, whatever you want, a signature block section. Again, you can click preview, and then you can preview the entire thing. But what you can do next, you can copy and paste wherever you like, or you can export. We're going to add in one more section called summary. All right. And I want to show you something that's really cool. The thought process here is we'll be able to do this with the summary section and a recommendation section coming up super soon. So what I want to be able to do, what I want to be able to do is for you to take the entire report without having to export, but then just click a button and it gives you a summary of the entire a report or you click a button and it gives you recommendations based off of that. But let's test something out real quick. So we have a report summarizer. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do text input. I'm going to grab this report because it printed out as uh, here we go. I moved it over to the screen. It exported as that word doc. OK, um, you might not be able to see it on your screen, but I'm just grabbing it from the word document. And then I'm going to paste that in here. And this is a who is the summary for? For parents. All right, then we're going to generate a summary. And so this tool, it takes full evaluations and then it gives you a summary of that evaluation. We're doing it a real bootleg way. But the idea is that in the future, we have a button to where it just says summarize all of the different templated sections that you have and it instantaneously does what it's, what it's doing now and provides you a summary. So we'll let this run and then we'll see that summary section pop up. All right. And so here is the evaluation summary and it started with strengths. Why? Because we always start with strengths, y'all. He's a bright, capable 16 year old with exceptional overall cognitive abilities. Uh, showcasing a unique combination of strengths that can be leveraged to support his academic personal growth uh, and personal growth with an extremely high full scale IQ of 132. He demonstrates remarkable verbal comprehension, fluid reasoning abilities, 
Okay, I'm scanning. All right. Additionally, his high average visual spatial reason and working memory. This is really good. So it's pulling in um, the overall strengths, uh, some of the strengths from the, the cognitive assessments, which is really neat as well. Um, it pulls in some of the scores from the social emotional, the adaptive functioning, uh, his high average academic achievement in math or language. All right. This is really good. Um, it, then it goes through the reason for referral. Okay, so it captures that pretty good. It gives us the re relevant history, a summary of findings. Okay. The evaluation was conducted. That's right. This is actually really cool. It talks about the assessments that I use, goes through the overall cognitive ability, processing speed. All right. However, he experiences challenges with reading and written expression, which fall in the low average range. Then it goes through some of the eligibility criteria, uh, which is okay, good. Um, and then Tony's assessment results reveal a com complex profile. His full scale IQ of 132 on the WIS indicates exceptional overall cognitive abilities, which is a strength. However, his performance on various academic achievement tests, uh, such as the Wyatt, shows that while he is generally in the average range, he experiences difficulties in reading and written expression falling in the low average range. These academic challenges coupled with his cognitive profile suggest that Tony may require targeted support to access and benefit from his education fully. Then it gives us a conclusion and then it gives us recommendations uh, to support his academic and social success. We recommend implementing uh, the following strategies then it goes to adjust Tony's attention and organizational challenges. We suggest modifying his learning environment, uh, providing a quiet space, giving visual aids, breaking down larger tasks into smaller. Okay. And then if I wanted to, I might even come in and then just add this as bullet points if I wanted to. It goes through some of the reading and written expression areas. All right. This is actually pretty good. Ooh, for example, the teacher can use evidence-based programs like Orrin Gillingham or Wilson to provide explicit and systematic instruction in phonics, fluency, and comprehension. Then it goes through some of the executive functioning support to teach Tony strategies to enhance his cognitive regulation skills. Oh, it gets deep into it, such as task initiation, working memory, and planning. Well, how can this be achieved? It can be achieved through explicit instruction. Practice and use the tools like checklists, reminders, self-monitoring charts. Then it gives ways to address social communication challenges. This is actually really, really good. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of I'm kind of blown away. Okay, now that we have this, I'm gonna go back out to the preview. I will preview the entire document. If I wanted to change some of the, the fonts, the layouts, I can do that. Again, once it's ready, now I'm going to export, uh, and this will be the, the final. So we're going to call this the TT final eval. And then once it exports to a Word document, you go through, review it, double, triple check it. And then once it's good, you sign off on it. What do you think? Give this a try. Let us know how you'll use it. Make sure that you subscribe uh, so you never miss a video. Until next time, take care, everyone.